I'm so called riding the rails of the Great Western Railway between Western Supermare and Taunton. Here we are literally looking at a hidden gem. Brunel's Bridge, Devil's Bridge. It's literally a hidden gem because the cutting is full of trees. And even from people's gardens the other day, I couldn't see the bridge, especially this time of year because of the dense foliage. Even if I came here in winter, some of the trees would be in the way. So I'm trying to make a video at a very noisy spot looking at the railway bridge. At uphill just south of Western Supermare, Brunel erected what was the highest and widest single span bridge in the country. Now grade 2 listed, it has a span of 110 feet and you can see it's remarkably flat. The critics would say that would collapse, but it hasn't. And it's 60 feet above the line. It was built economically as it used less masonry than an ordinary bridge, since it was supported without abutments by the cutting sides. Also, as it was built before the cutting was excavated to its full dimensions, no expensive centering was required. It was known as Devil's Bridge after Devil Payne, a cantankerous landowner who possessed the land needed for the railway and who held out for a high price. So this is a masterpiece of engineering, a wide flat span defying the critics standing all these years later, built in about 1842. So before Brunel's railway pierced the Mendip Hills here, Brunel had to replace the road that linked uphill to Bleeden. So he was obliged to build this road bridge and he did a mighty fine job. I hope this video has interested you as much as it's interested me. Thanks for watching.